Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, we are walking through the book of Proverbs. We're still in Proverbs chapter one. And I wanna encourage you, if you can identify one idea, one truth, one piece of wisdom each week and you know, implement that in your life, at the end of the year, you're gonna have 52 new ways you're walking in wisdom. That will transform your life your relationships, your, your financial world, it'll all change as you walk in the wisdom of God. And so today, uh, we are going to think about something I'm calling the pathway to destruction. Kind of cheerful, a good way to kind of pause in the middle of your week and think about the pathway to destruction. But what's happening here in Proverbs chapter 1 is in verses 10 through 16, we hear about the, the invitation of people who are kind of uh, dangerous, uh, edgy, uh, maybe... Uh, off the path kind of people who say, come on, join, join in with us. It's going to be great. You're going to make a lot of money. It's going to be wonderful. People who might seem safe, but man, they're, they're dangerous in your life. And then after talking about those kind of people and the, the consequences of following along with them, we pick that same theme up in verses 17 through 19. So listen to God's word. Kind of take a deep breath, quiet your heart, and listen to God's word from Proverbs 1, 17 to 19. How useless to spread a net where every bird can see it. These men, talking about those that have invited people into their ways that are, that are wicked and evil and dangerous, these men lie in wait for their own blood. They ambush only themselves. Such are the paths of all who go after ill-gotten gain. It takes away the life of those who get it. And this is a sobering passage. It's really saying there's a pathway to destruction. And that is to, to be doing those things that are unwise, that are ungodly. People invite you in while everyone else is doing it. It's, it's, it's kind of a cultural norm. No one's going to catch me. And, and we kind of jump in and there's always consequences. And, and so here's a word of warning. Beware of get rich quick schemes because they're exactly that. They're a scheme. Anything that sounds too good to be true is probably too good to be true. So be careful when somebody says, hey, jump in and it's going to turn out amazing. And especially if they say it's going to cost someone else, but you're going to get rich off of it. Be very careful. And I love how Proverbs says, people that behave this way, that live this way, are only setting a trap for themselves. They're ambushing, uh, you know, they're, they're going to ambush, oh, we're going to do this, but they find out when they ambush, they're ambushing themselves. When they finally wake up, they realize they're costing themselves rather than gaining things in life. And then finally, do your best at everything. Don't phone it in. Don't do kind of, kind of a halfway job, whether it's in a marriage, with family members, in a job. In your rec recreational time, seek to do the best you can in everything and see what God does with that. Here's my challenge for you. Uh, over, over the next three days, would you open the book of Proverbs each day? Whatever day of the, week, day of the month it is, whatever it, you know, so, so whatever day of the month you're watching this, it might be the 3rd or the 12th or the 15th, go to that chapter of Proverbs, read that chapter and reflect on it. Get God's word in your heart and get God's word in your mind. And, and let God speak to you through his wisdom through Proverbs. I want to invite you to pray with me and let's just ask God to help us to be careful of the, the shortcuts, the easy path to anything, including riches, and also the call to walk and live in a way that we pursue everything with all that's in us. God, this is our prayer, that you would help us beware of those invitations to get involved in things that are costly and dangerous but seem so good. Help us beware of get-rich-quick schemes. Help us to do all we do for your glory, working hard, striving hard, maybe going to bed exhausted and tired, but knowing that we've given things the best we can, and God, that that brings you glory, that brings blessing to us, and what we earn through what we do in our lives has dignity and value. Help us to walk in the wisdom that you've given us through your word. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. Well, blessings on you. If you're part of Shoreline Church, we invite you to join us at 9 o'clock and 11 on campus or online. If you're part of another church, get involved with your church. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your week.